Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to clear Shalinka's five gates of fate. So before I begin, let's go into the setup I will have for Shalinka. And interestingly enough, I apparently have Shalinka in her archer class at three out of four mastery. Not sure when I did this or why. It might have been that I used Shalinka to unlock someone else's gate of fate or something. Uh, you know, like a bond. So maybe that's when I upgraded her. In any case though, uh, since she's already upgraded a bit, I'll use her. And being in the Archer class makes it easy because I can just throw onto her the gear from Omega. Right, that should make things, make my life easy. So, well, <laughs> I went up to Archers and I guess I'll just take the gear from Illustrial instead. Either way, and others bow equipment. <laughs> Might as well, right? Get that one extra rage. Um, so, without any further ado, let's get started on her Gates of Fate. Oh, one thing I should check is the soldiers I'm running on her. So, bandits, firebrand snipers, sky archers. All potentially usable soldiers. Why don't I just make them sky archers so she has flying? I don't know. Probably makes more sense than the bandits that I don't have leveled up. Okay, so what is her default class anyways? What class does she start in? Infantry. All right, well, I have her in the archer class, so she is two or three rage rather than one. Okay, so let's jump in to the Gates of Fate. And, oh, before I begin though, I should check at what Bond characters she has. So I'm going to have to scroll all the way down because that's where she should be at the very bottom. And bond requirements is complete Lunar Return with Brenda's help and complete the look with Rainforce's help. I do have both heroes, so here we go. Number one, Cellar. So after all is lost, a solitary man is locked away in a deep prison. Feats here is gain victory in two turns, deploy no more than one hero. So, Shalinka only. Don't be afraid. As long as there is the sun, the moon, and the earth beneath our feet, you can do it. It's just that I n might not be able to join you. Okay. Interesting. Shalin. The final power of the Sword of Destruction, or sorry, the Sword of Decimation has been exhausted. I can no longer remain here. But at least he brought you back to the Red Moon. Please don't, my prince. Please don't, my love. I created Pelia in order to protect him. I tried controlling the demons also in order to protect him. My final end. Is this it? Is this what they call the Blasphemer's Fate? I don't understand. Why? Alright, is there going to be spoilers in this? Why she turned evil and crazy? What is this place? I can't feel the strength of my body anymore, but my will hasn't disappeared either. Is this what they call damnation? Hmm, <laughs> a fitting end for a loser like me. But at least I'm done with fighting. Now, Rain will help me with everything else. As long as he's alive, Crimsonia will definitely... No, I'm not letting you go that easily. You who brought shame upon Crimsonia. Why? It appears that I'm not done fighting yet. But this time I'm on my own. Okay, so it's only Shalinka that gets deployed here. Um, maybe I'll just equip the F. I can't. I don't know how to pronounce this. The flower passive that does fix damage to enemies when they attack me. All right. Alternatively, I can give myself melee soldiers, like cyborgs, so that they do additional damage, so that I, I can do melee damage. Whatever. 
Let's begin. So, range character with sleep, melee character that attacks me, melee character that attacks me. So, clearly, range attack. And then I get melee attack, it kills itself. Hold on, let's just double check. Gain victory, deploy one hero. Yep, that's fine. Infantry soldiers against a Lancer character, dead. You, from the world of the living, cannot defeat me. Even if you keep struggling, it will only mean tasting bitter defeat again. No, I'm not letting you go that easily. So this is what they call eternal suffering, endless fighting. Do you think you can torture my will like this? In this cage? Come out. You don't need to try to destroy me this way, god of chaos. You should know, destruction is not my will, it is the law, my host. Calling me that after all that's happened, are you trying to mock me? For a god, you really are a bore. Oh. So, Chaos has control of Shalinka's body, perhaps? Yes. Haha, <laughs> you misunderstand me. Why do you think that it is that your spirit didn't falter under such an attack? Are you trying to say you protected me? <laughs> Call it an exchange. Our wills seem to have been fused together and have now stabilized under the current situation. But this place is <laughs> using drastic means to save the bloodline, suppressing the pit of brutality. You Crimsonians do plan to rule with absolute dominance in a sense. But you underestimated the long dormant power of the Gaia dwellers, the Crimsonians, and the arrogance of trying to control the gods. <laughs> Shut up! You think you're the victor of this battle? Yes, I've lost too lost to the man who wanted to save you. I underestimated his determination. Rain. So perhaps it was out of pity for a fellow loser. I saved your soul in the final attack, along with this fragment of my power. In a sense, your spirit is in my body, but as for whether it can still perceive is another matter. In other words, I'm trapped in the prison of myself. Look on the bright side. Here, you can achieve eternal life. This is something that many mortals pine for. <laughs> You're disgusting. You might as well just destroy me. Let me be free. This is another kind of punishment. For one who attempted to harness the power of a god, to be condemned to forever think upon your past from the inside this cage is torture. Besides, even if you could leave, what would be the point? You have nowhere to return to. What do you mean by that? Crimsonia, that moon is burning in an inferno. Your futile attempts cannot change its destiny. Stopping me is the most that your prince can do. Rainforce, no, impossible. Why? Why couldn't you do it? We promised. Ah, it's time. My power is already. You shall remain in this darkness alone. Rain, where are you? Eternal Solitude. That's her talent, right? So, gain victory in two turns, deploy no more than one hero, and five shards of her to start. Are you sure about this decision, Rain? Refusing to inherit the throne and become the heir apparent after coming of age. Your father would not have approved of this. Shalinka, I always thought you understood. You know I never wanted to become a so-called prince. This lie woven from oppression and power. Let it die with me. I never thought that you were the type to turn the cheek at fate. Then I must go and face this cruel mission? You, who has the so-called blood of the priests flowing through your veins. Don't you know what your fate is? Are you saying that you intend to embrace this cruelty? Enough, Rain. 
It's our mission to assist the royal family. I will not back away from it, even if our lives are the price we must pay. I will do anything to achieve my ambitions, no matter the cost. Wishes, wishes! Can't you just live for yourself for once, Shalinka? Maybe one day, but not now. So, it was at that time? Rain, you and I have walked entirely different paths. Live for myself? Perhaps now is the time, Rain. So now let's move on to her second date of fate, Entangled Pass. In the depths of darkness, a shadow emerges from a twisted heart. So you have to approach Rainforce, feed series win within five rounds, and deploy no more than one hero, yet again. What is this sensation? You sense it too? This power, Pelia. That's right, the power that the fool toyed with has reawakened. I'm afraid the one who knows the truth is... <laughs> is that so? So Alhazard's fate is here too. How? That sword is still... Would you like to know everything, my host? Fate is inevitable. I never look away from it. I'll make you finish reading it, even if you don't want to. <laughs> the sun is setting. Aren't you going to go back and rest, Rain? Ever since you came to Gaia, you've been running around on Alhazard-related business. Even a noble Crimsonian cannot carry on like this. Brenda. Although the time I spent in your village was the most beautiful of my life, I still need to save the people who lie asleep on Crimsonia. That's why the mana of this planet is essential. I must obtain it, no matter how. Look at this planet. Look how peaceful it is now. Ever since the Red Moon fell, the people of Gaia have begun their own era. And here in the village of Rekria? Couldn't you just relinquish the title of Prince for a while and be with me? You. Why? That voice? Prince. <laughs> You've been enjoying that title since the time of the Magical Research Institute. At that time, I thought you were quite the strange. This I thought you were quite strange. The future king of Crimsonia, who needed me to watch over him. As it turned out, you're just a frivolous wanderer. What a shame. The rebellion burned everything to the ground. It took so long to recover from that battle. It made us realize that destruction does not bring true hope. Hey, Rain. This place isn't so bad, right? If it were possible, I wonder if we can live here together. Ho ho! Brenda being aggressive! Rain? Hey, you jerk. What are you looking so shocked about? No, I just... <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? If Aizel or Jill were to hear what you just said, I think it would cause quite a stir. That guy Aizel is obviously a Gaia dweller. <laughs> He's just a bit stubborn. So Rain, could we? Brenda, I hope too that this moment... I will never forgive. What? Again? <laughs> Brenda's angry. What are you trying to pull? Forget it. I can't wait for you, my prince. Hey, I'm sorry, Brenda. I just... She's gone. But that voice just now, it sounded like... No, impossible. Still can't forget the familiar voice I heard this afternoon. Who was it? Rainforce. What? Again, it sounds like her voice, but it's not quite right. Look at me, Rainforce. Can't you bring yourself to even face me? You coward. You who forgot about the glory of our race. Is this what you call an oath? Those memories of the past that you cherish. Are you going to abandon them just like that? 
Do you need me to awaken you from a delusion? Do you need me to remind you of the betrayal you committed, Rainforce? Why do they somehow call him Rain? Like sometimes they call him Rain, sometimes they call him Rainforce. Like where did that difference come from? Well, regardless, let's continue. <laughs> Is this how you think and act after facing the truth? Rainforce. He chose a life of compromise with a Gaia dweller. He even gave up the moon you protected and fought for to come to a place like this. <laughs> how could it be? However, no matter how angry or sad you are, you are nothing more than an imperceptible phantom to them. You are just a lonely soul stuck in space. Damn. Damn it. I'm sure of it, though it's kind of hazy, that voice. Shalinka, where are you? Why? Can you sense me, Rain? Then why don't you come and save me? Why? Why won't you come into this prison? <laughs> Even if he tried interfering, it would be futile. You must understand. Shut up. I must get my voice to him somehow, just like we used to. Where are you? Shalinka! You think it's that simple? <laughs> just keep struggling in futility in this void. So for this second battle, I do have to clear it within 5 rounds, so I'm going to change up the skills on Shalinka. And that really means bringing, I think, Fleeting Flash along with Ethereal Flower to quickly teleport myself forward. Alright, so that should be good. Let's just begin. And the first turn, I am going to just maneuver forward like this to strike one of the Skeleton Masters. Cyborgs with Shalinka does enough damage to kill it. I get attacked by the Flame Skeleton, which kills itself. Then I get attacked by this Skeleton Master that kills itself as well. And finally by this Undead Knight that kills itself but also rams me. So it's turn two. So now, why don't I use Fleeting Flash? and teleport myself forward like so. so placing myself into range of more enemies that will kill themselves into my shalika so far so good onward so i'm going to run forward now and strike one of these in the fights. And get attacked multiple times, I guess. And including this undead knight here. Which will go really deep off me one more time. And I was fortunate enough to activate Breeze. So. That gives me enough mobility to actually maneuver forward to fight. Alright. Flame skeleton. Another flame skeleton. And keep in mind it's just I have to approach Rainforce, I don't have to actually kill them all. So with this final maneuver next to Rainforce, I've approached them. So there we go. <sighs> Rain, can you sense me now? What astonishing willpower. Should I applaud you for such solitary courage, woman? What a shame. Even if you were to fall down before him covered in blood, he couldn't see you. He wouldn't even think of you. Rain, no. In any case, I've decided now to take back this little bit of freedom from you. 
No, you can't just... Why? It seemed like she was right here. That feeling, it's gone. Rainforce, why did you just run out in the middle of the night? Rain, are you crying? Oh no, I just felt something. Something I missed very much. I'm fine, Brenda. Let's go back. Yes. So I got this cleared with a breeze activation. You could use speed boots or apex boots for the extra mobility or overlord's badge to be immune to mobility reduction effects. Lots of ways to do it, especially if you can teleport forward with fleeting flash. So win within five rounds and deploy no more than one hero. Come closer, let me whisper it to you. What are you trying to pull, Rain, in a place like this? What, Shilinka? I thought this is an answer I thought about... I thought all night about. I think this is what my heart truly wants. Hey! Ow, 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 ow! Why did you hit me? I'm just showing you how your father would react if you were to learn you wasted an entire night doing something like this. <laughs> that old bugger. It was he who wanted me to get married early. So you'd better go to the noble's reception and stop wasting time on me. Why is it a waste of time? Don't you want to read these books, the palace, and the prison with me? No, I cannot turn my back on my responsibilities. That was what my mother entrusted me with in her final moments. The Crimsonian prince? The, the Crimsonian priest? That twisted family that would force Ibley instill blood for the sake of continuing, and the same twisted responsibility they bear. Yes, isn't that twisted product standing right in front of you? No, that's not what I meant. I'm sorry, Shilinka. I'm not angry. If you were... If you telling that truth made me angry, then you would have annoyed me to death by now, ever since we were little. So you accept this as the truth too, then don't you want to change it? There's no need, letting you give up so much for me. The coronation ceremony is next week, after which you will formally become the crown prince. Congratulations, Rain. Shillin. When the time comes, I'll be watching you from the audience. I hope you will hear my blessings. Why? Why? Rain, why are you making a decision like this? I don't understand. As a Crimsonian, as the prince, is this your choice? Giving up your honor and everything that the Crimsonian people paid for with their blood? Ah, Rain, I understand. I know you still love me. I cannot be wrong about that. But I must punish you. Punish you for being seduced by that lowly Gaia dweller. Rainforce. This pain that you've given me, this never-ending pain, love. Alright, so 30 Trinity Crystals for that one. The third battle is Demonic Scheme, and that, if I take a look at the bottom section, that is not yet one of the battles that are used. So it's the Look and Re Lunar Return, so this battle can be done with whomever. So this one is win within five rounds and Kruger is not defeated. All right. When the world becomes a cage, freedom ceases to exist. You can open your eyes. This is near your destination, the universe. The wings of the evil god can only reach this far. If you fall into the gravity field of the red moon or blue moon, it will be difficult to return. You're an evil god too, are you not? You ought to display your abilities to me every once in a while. Otherwise, what's the difference between you and that useless agent of chaos? Tch. When that guy put these wings on you, he ought to have torn out that filthy tongue as a price. 
I have already paid a sufficient price for these wings. But there's no wings on him. <laughs> Looking at him. So what's the deal with this rusted metal we are standing on? This is the place closest to the red moon, which is to say, the sky above it. This place appears to be the wreckage of an airship left over from the rebellion. You can reach the red moon directly from here. An airship? In a place like this? Wouldn't it be a spaceship rather than an airship? And this is all that's left of it? What the heck did these ancient Crimsonians do? I looked up this place. It seems the entire ship was torn into two by lightning. There are no survivors. Anyone who can do something like that really is a god. Alright, your mission is over. Go back and await my orders. Of course. I hope you enjoy playing this garbage dump, Lord Evil God. <laughs> that arrogant punk. How offensive. Why didn't you say anything? Forget it. He brought us here, so he must be exhausted. He's just pretending to be at ease. <laughs> that little punk might be even more perceptive than you. There's something here, don't you feel it? <laughs> what else could a thousand-year-old wrecked airship... Huh? This power, could it be? Correct. You've sensed it at last. This is a residual fragment of the power of our old foe, Chaos, the god of disorder. What? In a place like this? Could that kid have sensed the location of this power and dumped Ooh. us here? Seems like that's... Seems like the sort of thing that vile guy would do. But don't panic. This power is like a sprung crossbow. It's already on the verge of collapse. I believe it's nothing more than the aura left behind from some battle. Insignificant details. Let's hurry and get to the Red Moon. What? D this guy is... Oh, looks like we found a ghost card someone hid here. A ghost card. You again. That trick of yours, I already... The you that you just mentioned. Are you referring to the person locked in here? What? No, you don't seem to be an illusion. What are... <laughs> I am your savior. I am able to rescue you. This is your only chance. I don't know what you did to make chaos imprison you here, but I know that I'm the only one who can save you. Do you understand? Perhaps you have such power, but why would you do it? <laughs> Pale skin and hair, blue eyes, black clothes. You're a Crimsonian, aren't you? In fact, not just a Crimsonian, but a Crimsonian of very high status. I understand. You want to reach the Red Moon, right? To open the way there, you need someone with Crimsonian blood. It seems the Crimsonians are perceptive as they say. I cannot hide myself from you, so if you understand, then... But if you were a little smarter, you would know that the Crimsonians are absolutely loyal, absolutely strong of will, and absolutely honorable. <laughs> you insolent. Do you even understand your current situation? I could destroy your body at any moment. Destroy? You, who has been condemned here for thousands of years, speaks of destroying? <laughs> I suppose you have already gone mad. Well, it's to be expected, locked up in a place like this for so long. <laughs> you want to get to Crimsonia, right? I know. I can help you, if you really can free me from this darkness. Oh? You still have... So you still have some common sense after all. But you, you're, you're obviously a demon. Do you really have the power to resist the will of chaos? <laughs> We who are born in darkness are in constant pursuit of greater power. And how are you going to do it? The spell appears unbreakable from the inside, but with help from the outside that may not be so. Alrighty. So, win within five rounds and you can't let Kruger be defeated and you face off against a lot of these enemies with K 
chaos at the very end. Well, bringing... If I bring Shefenio, that might be the best option. Someone who can quickly uh, AoE down these enemies. Or rather, I'd probably want someone with double AoE. Because I can hit him for four, then maybe move further down and runic void or something. So yeah, why don't I bring Rachel? Or Lana, even. Just, I need a double AoE attacker. Maybe Lana. So, let's begin. Turn on Danger Zone. Demons. Creations of darkness. It's the destiny of our tribe to constantly devour the most ravenous being crowned king. You cannot stop me from pulling you down from that pedestal, Chaos. Woman, have you decided? Decided to face? To embrace this destiny? So, so let's start with Black Hole. Oh wait, doesn't even hit them all. Crap! That's annoying. So I misjudged the distance of this, of these enemies. I can only hit one of them at a time. Okay, well, let's just start with Kruger doing a Dark Reaper on this. Then, and I guess I'm going to have to have Insanction. No, I really don't want to. So maybe I'm just going to launch out a blizzard attack to wipe one out. And since I do have a 3 range Shalinka, I can have her other spell the either vampire bag. Whatever. Cyborgs, Kelsey, and Dead Knights. Okay. If I just have any sanction here, I can wipe them all out. But why don't I have her fleeting flash forward then? And then Lena can just have any sanction and wipe out this group. Linka kills off the flame skeleton. Gets hit by an AoE strike. Interesting. Pushing her back. But it does barely any damage to me. So I guess I'll just keep approaching. I'll just finish her off. Finish off uh, the Warden's Shadow then. Whatever. If it happens, then this weak cage will collapse, and you will be able to experience the outside world again, thanks to me. Ah, uh, it's over at last, woman. The fate of not only me, Crimsonia, and Gaia, but even the very fate of the Crimsonians themselves has reached its end. The gears of history no longer need you to turn them. And you, though liberated from this prison, cannot attain redemption. You are now nothing more than an angry puppet. I understand my true mission and everything that I need to do from now on. Then enjoy the sweetness of vengeance. Vengeance? No, that's not it. Redemption is what I am going to do now. I will make Rainforce understand what I have for him, for Crimsonia, and for this planet. Well, my job is done, even though this woman still insists on making such a choice. Let the end of chaos come. And within five rounds, Kruger is not defeated. So you joined forces with this strange woman? As long as they have common interests, 
Why should the demons care out who their allies are? Ahem. Oh? You're that exiled noble who's under Chaos's control? Please come with us as agreed. Hey! You bastard! What are you trying to do? You ought to know that without me, you'll be nothing but a worthless piece of garbage in this universe. Ah, I miss this feeling. Even this punch feels so real. Go away, you piece of trash. The fact that I didn't destroy you is my mercy to you for bringing me back. <laughs> you may have awakened, but strictly speaking, you are still our captive. You had better grasp your actual situation. You two? Oh, I see. You are actually one, a mutated combination of a formless demon and a soul with insufficient power. Oh, so the reason you're going to Crimsonia, let me guess, it's for that sword, the sword you demons call Alhazard. How? How could you? When Chaos seized control over your will with that sword, it became a part of you. You can sense the location of the sword, which has saved us a great deal of time. That's right, I don't intend to hide it. The reason we're here is to seize the ultimate weapon Alhazard that you Crimsonians created. Alhazard. What was its original purpose? What was its name? These things have become unimportant with the passage of time. In the future, people will only remember its power even if they don't understand what this power signifies. I know that Alhazard is no ordinary sword, but you don't know the truth of the sword, nor why the Crimsonians are so adamant about getting it back. Spare me the nonsense. Tell me, what is Alhazard, really? <laughs> if you really want to know this, you shouldn't be going to that dead star that lies beneath your feet. Go up, look skyward, ascend to the blue moon that casts its Endless shadow over all. Awaken Alhazard's true destiny there. Shalinka's fourth get of fate is then Lunar Return. So this one has defeats of win within eight turns and no one from your team was killed. Lunar Return is one of the battles that unlocks one of her bonds, in this case the toughness bond, and it requires Brenda's help. So I'm going to have to equip up Brenda as well. Actually, what I should probably do is rather than having an Alder's Bow on my Shalinka, I should have probably just given her something like Speed Boots. So remove, let's say remove the Alder's Bow, add Speed Boots so she has two mobility. It would function in a more effective way because sometimes she was reduced to one mobility. So if I had given her Something like a speed boots and a weapon of some kind, such as I don't know, like a, the Bloody Melody from Hie or something, or Extreme Magic Bow from Zerida. That's probably for the best. Then she would function just as well. But regardless, I was killing off enemies in melee range, even with the Alder's Bow giving me 10% physical damage reduction. So you're doing enough damage to kill things, regardless of whether you have uh, the Elder's Bow effect or whatever. Of course, equipping this way would mean I don't have the Breeze activation chances, so it might be better to just equip like this to reduce the luck factor, right? which I was kind of relying on sometimes for some of those previous fights. Alright, so other than that, I have to equip a Brenda. So that would be the less legends, correct? So Brenda is over here. My Brenda is in the cavalry class. Oh, I actually leveled her up a fair amount. Ah, to unlock strike, I think. So given that she needs a set of gear and I'm being very lazy to not maneuver around like crazy, let's just remove Landy's set of gear and throw it on Brenda. Better than look for someone else. That will be good. And let's jump now into her get of fate. Once again, win within eight turns, no one from your team was killed. Pretty straightforward ones. I see. So Alhazard is just a controller. The blue moon Pelia. This man-made or this massive man-made orbital gun. This is the true source of Alhazard's power. 
but that place was already destroyed by you humans. Whether it can be reawakened or not is unknown. Without this power, we would lose our trump card. Psst, Landius, and that fake prince. But if that man hadn't come back to Gaia again, the truth of Langrisser and Alhazard would never have been revealed. The wars between the agents of Lucius and Chaos would only be repeated. And now, the power sealed in this moon shall be our key to surpassing even the gods. Isn't he supposed to be evil god Gendrasil? Why would he need to surpass the gods? Isn't he already a god? Did that prince join forces with your people to seal the power of Pelia in the end? <laughs> That's right. He, together with you despicable Gaia dwellers, destroyed this moon. Shalinka's not a Gaia dweller. Shalinka's Crimsonian. Why don't you help us further? As long as we have power, not only can we rule humanity, but even those Crimsonians who betrayed you will fall before us. <laughs> betrayed. To be honest, while I was imprisoned in that darkness, I myself felt betrayed too. But now, I know that we are just puppets of fate, and my mission is to rescue our race from a fate of anguish. <laughs> You're mad. As you wish, but at least I have no reason to part with you yet. We're almost there. This thing created as a shadow of terror, Pelia. Perhaps I ought to marvel at the capacities and brutality of Crimsonia. Using such a massive orbital cannon to deter their subjects into submission. <laughs> In that sense, they're even more terrifying than the demons. Such talk is useless. This place has been completely annihilated. Nothing here can be used. No, not quite. This moon still has countless orbital guns that draw on mana for their power. Even though an explosion was triggered from the inside, some of the weapons still remain. Deep inside lies the strictly guarded control system which only the supreme ruler of Crimsonia has access to. From there, one, can, one has control over the entire moon's weapons. In reality, not only Pelia, but even Crimsonia's central system can be directly accessed from here. Hmm. <laughs> that was the last resort to prevent internal collapse in the event of a rebellion on the Blue Moon. But how do you know of this? It seems you really are one of the elite leaders of Crimsonia. Wonder, test, intrusion. Eliminate. <laughs> Even the defense systems are still here. This proves that no one has been here. But how did that prince not know of this fact? How could one who escaped their own fate know the truth of the dark side of the moon? This is no time for a chit chat. Let's deal with these things first. Alright. So you're actually allowed to deploy your full team. Okay, so I actually kind of question why I even bothered to equip Brenda then. Well, let's just deploy AOE attackers and such as Shafaniel and Brenda. Filter, Vilas, bring up Brenda wherever she is. And away we go. Might as well have her bring her Goddess Glow just in case. I'm not sure I'm actually going to need it, but you never know. Or alternatively, I could also bring this, right? Attack support to provide 15% uh, damage increase to allies. Either or. Regardless, let's jump in. 
And the goal is to defeat all enemies while losing nobody and winning from eight times. So why don't I have Shifrinio just fashion buff for now? Can I commit? Yes. Do I need to commit? No. Oh, this is a three round cooldown. Oh, hold on. I hate, sometimes I really hate these skills. Because telling, you know, cooldown, range, and all that is sometimes very confusing. Two turn cooldown, single target, two range. Okay. And this skill is all range, it looks like. Three turn cooldown. Three block around the target yeah so it's an all range attack so I actually do have to strike so let's go Shalinka oh she doesn't even do enough damage to kill that's not good in that case I will have no choice but to DK that doesn't do enough damage to kill. Uh, oh well. But it didn't actually use that skill. Interestingly enough. I guess I must have misjudged it. Because these guys aren't using it at all. Maybe it's 3 range. No? It should be a map wide attack that it's 3 blocks around the target. Ah, I actually don't know why it's not being used. I really don't. Well, whatever. Since it's not, let me just move out of the way. And have Shifinho demolish here. And I keep moving to the final group. There's no real point in me sending her forward to attack. If I can instead rely on Shafania, I'll see them all out. Turn 4. Shafania maneuvers up. Right, let's just end turn then. Yeah, I don't understand. These aren't these guys supposed to have a map wide attack with the power cannon? Um, yeah, I don't get it. Okay, regardless, right, if I tar if I check on Shafino, for example, it says a self targeting attack. Yeah, so it's supposed to be a map wide attack with this skill that it's not using. Okay, whatever. Heaven sanction. Brenda so, strike and kill. And I guess I'll have my flying Shalinka finish off this magic soldier. Energy exhausted, silence. That's about it. The entire defense system should have been cut off. Where? Where is the program to reactivate the blue moon? Damn it. 
refused access. It's useless. This place can only be unlocked by the blood of the Crimsonia royal family. Let me try. Hmm. This woman seems dangerous. I think once the blue moon is activated, we should. Do you know why you can never defeat Gizaroff? What the? You dare mention that name again? Calm down. Let me speak. If we were not prepared to take on risks, we shouldn't have rescued that woman in the first place. <laughs> I stopped you, but you went on alone. You should know, your behavior is going to cause chaos to find out about our plan. But without taking this risk, we wouldn't have even learned the truth about the power of Crimsonia. <laughs> you never had a real plan, nor real courage. You're nothing but a demon. After this, I'm going to take away your power absolutely. The final restriction has been lifted. We've now gained full access to Pelia. Show the last communication log that was intercepted. Perhaps this will be our last meeting, but just wait a couple hundred years and we will meet again. Fortunately, the depleted mana has been replenished. The next time I return to Gaia, I hope to be met with a peaceful world. Is that your final wish, Rainforce? I understand. Then I will decide accordingly. Control Station, connect me to... The final control center of Crimsonia. Alright, win within 8 turns completed. No one from your teammates completed. And the first completion. Oh, a bit more storyline. I have finished investigating, and my conclusion is Pelia will soon run out of energy. Why? Hmm. I see. So those defensive mechanisms in battle just now were on low performance mode. Otherwise, based on our strength, it would have been impossible to break the entire line of defense. Last time, the explosion caused by the invaders destroyed the entire energy bank of the planet. If we want to use Pelia now, we must recharge its mana. But that's practically impossible. Where would we find such a quantity of mana in a place like this? Damn it! Then we came to, the, to this rusty pile of junk for nothing! Stupid woman, I think you're just trying to get in our way! <laughs> Foolish Gaia dwellers. I never said that Pelia couldn't be reactivated. In fact, the reactivation process has already begun! Five. Four. What? How could... Oh, you, don't tell me. Three, two, one. Energy transfer complete. Pelia reactivation has begun. Weapon capacity, 64%. How is this possible? Pelia is man-made. It can't generate mana. Wait a minute. Energy transfer. <laughs> All right, I guess I underestimated you, woman. So you are utterly crazy after all. You... No way! Crimsonia's energy... has been transferred to Pelia. That's right. This death-bringing star will rise again. Direct your fury upon the world once again. Together with the rule of the Crimsonians, which could not be realized thousands of years ago. Sixty more Trinity Crystals. So the final battle is the look. What shall be the last thing these eyes behold? The splatter of blood or... So feats, win within eight turns. 
Royal Blood. Use Shalinka to defeat three unawakened elite defenders and transform them. Hmm. That, I think, means I have to upgrade Shalinka a bit. But first, let's unlock her toughness bond. And the fifth and final bond requires Rainforce. So let's go back. And get that upgraded as well. First though, let's filter for U.S. characters. Get my gear back from Brenda. And throw it back on Landius. I need to remember to do that right now. Uh, while I'm at it, I should also re-equip a lot of my heroes that whose gear I've removed. For example, I know Illustrial had the other's bow taken from her, I think it was. Oh, her set of gear. I also took her uh, armor and uh, that stuff. So I actually don't know if I should actually keep speed boots on my Shalinka. Because she doesn't seem to be doing enough damage. Although this is pretty much max attack increase. 15, 4, 5, and 9. So if I need additional attack, it would be either to change her soldiers up, right? Or else, because her soldiers are not that great in terms of attack value, or else it would be to bond her up a bunch. So we'll leave her as is for now. Um, and continue. So, I suppose I could put some upgrades into her bonds. How about that? Because even in the previous map, I was already failing to one shot. So clearly, something needs to be done. I'm not going to commit too many resources into upgrading her bonds. Something like level 7, keeping it reasonable. Or level 8. The flip side is I do have a lot of gold on hand. So let's upgrade the soldier stats as well. Because I think one of the major limitations for sure should be her soldiers. I don't have upgraded training ground for infantry whatsoever. So getting the soldiers that increase, especially the attack value, will be pretty key here. And then the the third bond also increases the soldier attack, so I'll do a few upgrades here as well. We'll stop at level 6. You know what, let's upgrade this one. So I have it at max first bond, level 9 second bond, level 6 on the third bond, before I use any bursting heart keys. Okay. And... Let's now try... Oh wait, I have to equip Rainforce. <laughs> Annoying. Okay. So... Filter... For Archers and Assassins, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure my Rainforce is an Archer class. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll remove the gear from Hie. In this case, and toss it onto... Rainforce? Something like that. And now we begin the fifth and final gate of fate. Hopefully I don't just use Rainforce and Shalinka, because that would truly suck. If I can deploy one more hero, that would be easy. So win within eight turns and Shalinka has to defeat three enemies. Here we go. You really have gone mad. To do that is the equivalent of condemning the Crimsonian race to death. With the supply of mana cut off, the life support machines of those Crimsonians lying in stasis will become their coffins. I imagine that the Crimsonians who built the star never thought that their destruction would come not from invaders, but from a Crimsonian priest. That name stirs up such nostalgia. I see that the long lifespan of demons enables them to remember such meaningless things. 
priests. But aren't the Crimsonians a race that believe in magic technology? <laughs> I am afraid only the demons and Lucius would know of something like this. Originally, the Crimsonians were a race that built magic technology by communicating with the gods and demons. Of course, not everyone possessed the power to communicate with the gods. Those with such an ability were known as Crimsonians. Do they mean known as priests? These people naturally became a small elite. But later, the Crimsonians discovered discovered science and technology. After combining this with magic, they no longer depended on communication, as they have obtained power that rivaled even the gods and the demons themselves. The Crimsonians soon became obsessed with their new power. The advancement of magical science prospered, but they realized that the numbers of those who could communicate with the gods were dwindling. Just as if the gods were reinciting their prior generosity, so the Crimsonians' bloodline suddenly began to dwindle. Until one day, it happened even to the Crimsonian royal family. Then they began searching for a way to artificially purify the Crimsonian bloodline. Their way was the Crimsonian priest. <laughs> Such a twisted race. The priest was nothing more than an artificial human infused with original Crimsonian blood. Each generation of priests bore the responsibility of communicating with the gods and preserving themselves such that when the time came, they would transfuse their pure Crimsonian blood to the royal family. You know a lot, so much in fact that I'd like to shut you up forever. <laughs> I should have realized this from the fact that you can communicate with chaos. I never thought that a man-made freak like you would end up the last descendant of the Crimsonians. Ironic. How utterly ironic. For such a blasphemous race as that. But the fact that you have survived in good health to this very day indicates that the current royal family has not received your power. But now... All this is meaningless. The Crimsonian race isn't extinct. As long as they acquire the Demon Sword Alhazard, I can... <laughs> then what are you waiting for? Hurry to Crimsonia! <laughs> My host is so impatient for results. It seems your power level is only capable of controlling one like this. But I am still curious as to why, if you went back and cooperated with Rainforce to reclaim the mana, I think that the restoration of Crimsonia would still be possible. So why would you go so far? No, there is no longer any recovery to speak of for Crimsonia. Starting from the creation of our twisted family, this race is just prolonging its fate. It is natural that one who abandons their own bloodline will eventually be abandoned by it. This is something that the wretched royal family has never understood. Rainforce. But he is an exception. He possesses everything that the royal family never did. Foresight, erudition, kindness. I knew from a young age that he could change the course of the future for this race, but he was unwilling. Unwilling to take on the responsibilities of leading the race constantly running, even to his own downfall. All my actions of the past, all my intentions, they were all for him. I protected him until the very end. But he gave up everything to go in search of that vain peace, that shallow love. I cannot accept it. Now I am going to destroy those false dreams of his one by one. Consider it liberating our wretched race from the curse of life. This is the true and final expression of my love for him. She is so twisted. Wow. Why is Shalinka now speaking like chaos? All right, it's time. Let us go to Crimsonia. Unbelievable. 
This place was turned into a giant graveyard. That prince must have been the only survivor. Well, let's not worry about this for now. Where's Alhazard? I think these two things ought to be together. This is the forbidden land of Crimsonia, the place where the royal family lies in hibernation. Huh? How are the guards still alive? Did they wake up from hibernation? <laughs> or are they the knights that were in hibernation with Rainforce? But to survive the attack that halted the life support systems couldn't have been easy. Send them to join the rest of the Crimsonians. Okay, so three characters, and I do get a third slot. So I can bring Shafania for AoEs with Rainforce and Shalinka. Alright, so two archers, Shafaniel for AoEs, and this should be a fairly easy clear. Alright, let's begin. Some of the guards haven't fully woken up from hibernation yet. I can use the power of the royal blood to control them while they are weak. Of course, if we delay until they're fully awake, then there will be nothing I can do. Seize this opportunity. So it looks like there's a whole bunch of enemies here and there are a bunch that are stunned for five turns. Now, in order to kill them, I think I'm gonna have to weaken one and follow it up. So let's see if the demolish skill of Shafino kills them or not. It doesn't. Weakens them, but they're still alive. So that is perfect because then Shalinka can wipe it out. So why don't I have Shalinka just strike? Kill off that elite defender and it joins me. Obey my orders. Yes. Alright, so that allows Rainforce to kill off an awakened one. And my Rainforce has Sly Stride to actually retreat forward if I want to. One, two, three. So maybe place him here, for example. And if Kruger kills the other Crimson and Swordsman, we're good to go. So I've placed her in range, or I've placed Rainforce in range of that enemy. So why don't I do the same with the Crimsonian? So Rainforce will trade range attacks against the mage, killing it off. And I have to capture how many? Three of them. So now, if I move forward and have sanction, that wipes out the majority of them. And it's just mopping up. So 1,000 hit points or so. I wonder if Decay is enough to kill. Yep, there we go. So... Let's maneuver forward four tiles because of the speed boots. And run Rainforce up and run the other one up. So now... Just gonna move Shippenyo forward. Let's have this one attack. One elite defender. Let's have Rainforce start weakening the other elite defender. And I think I'm just going to have Shalinka kill it off. So there we go. Obey my orders. Yes.
So now I just need to further weaken this one and then kill it. There we go. Shalinka strike. Here we are. Obey my orders. Yes. I should have brought Sky Archers on Shifenio. Then she could move in and strike right away. Right, she could just fly in and attack. As it is... It's gonna be awkward. Well, let's have our faction block this turn. And have my other characters maneuver. Alright. So, why don't I have Shafinio? Just have Incension as best as she can. Almost killed off this Swordmaster. So, why don't I. Strike and kill it. It's gonna come out of the stun state, so all things considered, I might as well just get rid of it. Whoops. Ring Force. Using Sonic Blade. And I do have three of them already, so I don't have four, but. Wait, 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 wait. Use Shlinka to defeat three unawakened elite defenders. And I did. So I was just double checking. Okay. So let's just crush this Crimson Mage now. I can also melee attack. Oops, Shalinka. There we go. That's it. The path to Al Hazard has been opened. It's been a long time. The power of Al Hazard. Impossible. There's no way in. It's scanning for a face. Only a certain face can open the way. Well, it's a defense strategy fitting that narcissistic waste of space. For an expert in secret operations like you, this ought to be a piece of cake. I need to find him. If I can collect data on his physical body, then I can project a simulation of his face. Hmm, I see. Alright then, go and retrieve data on his physical body, then transform me into him. Wait a second. There's one more task to complete. Even though life support has been cut off and that guy ought to be dying, to be sure of our success, remember to send him to another world before he wakes up. <laughs> Are these just some massive spoilers? Like, you know, did he just mention about Kruger transforming his face into Rain Forces? Rain Force is dying, and you know, the Rainforce right now keeps having dual personalities. Sometimes he talks like Chaos, uh, like Evil God Gendrasil does. So I guess the Rainforce we're fighting against right now is not actually Rainforce, it's actually Kruger. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Besides, he's already done for. His subjects are all gone. I understand. Wait for me here. So slow! What is that woman doing? I'm here. The thing you wanted. Ah, Al Hazard. At last. At last. I have you again. Want to come with me? <laughs> this man seems like the type you used to love, right? 
If you want, you can think of me as him. <laughs> as I suspected. Despicable. This attitude of yours, this lustfulness, and this third-rate power. You! What's the matter? Weren't you talking just now about wanting to leave this place? Let's go already. Otherwise, this place is going to stink of corpses. Well, let's talk about an absolutely massive spoiler. Let win within 8 turns and use Shalinka to defeat 3 unawakened elite defenders in Transform. And there we are. So. My dear, I'm here, Rain. It's been so long. Your room is still just as cluttered. It's utterly unlike a noble, Rain. But I suppose that's why I liked you when I was young. After all, the people around us avoided my mother and I like the plague. It must be hard for one to have their life support system severed. The feeling of total paralysis, the fading consciousness, the slow death. Those nobles will never wake up, but maybe you can still make it out of here given your youthful body and pure blood. Do you think I ought to be angry? After all, you couldn't protect Crimsonia, and even ended up with that woman from Gaia. But it doesn't matter. Now this is all coming to an end. After I kill you, I won't need to try maintaining this dead body anymore. You and I will be liberated from this damn dream. Liberated! <laughs> Did I give you a fright? The feeling of death passing over oneself? How many times have you experienced that in your life? That abhorrent man outside needs your image, so I decided to give it to him. It's also fortunate that every time I see your handsome face, I feel nauseous. Now, I'm looking forward to stealing your expression when you wake up. Will it be painful anguish or of indifference? Whatever the case, these pains, sorrows, and despairs are all things that you once gave to me in the name of love. All right, now let's resolve this in all. Let's resolve this all in the most familiar way. We used to play a game combats all the time when we were young. You know what to do. Get up, Rain. When you wake up, you'll be part of the new world. And there we go. The fifth and final battle of Shilinka's plotline, or Gate of Fate. And that also will unlock her fifth bond. So I'm just going to gift her up to get access to that. So let's just give that and maybe get this. And I need I don't know, 600 more points. There you go. And now I can un unlock Shilinkas. Fifth and final bond. And that is all for Shilinka. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this useful. Nitro out.